Historically speaking, this is the most interesting football match that I have ever seen on this channel. Ordinarily, you would get an amazing view of the Dumbarton Football Stadium from Dumbarton Castle and the rock here in Dumbarton, the famous castle and rock. But there's a load of scaffolding and work going on and the top half of the castle is off limits and that is the half that you can see the, uh, the stadium from. So we're having to come around the other side, but we're getting some great views. Why is this game so historically significant? Well, the first ever league season in Scotland, 1890. Rangers and Dumbarton finished level on points, top of the league, and they had a playoff to decide who the league winners would be. They drew that playoff at Hampden Park in front of just 10,000 people, and the title was shared. That is the first time and the only time in history that the title has been shared in Scotland. The second ever season, Dumbarton won it outright, but Rangers had to wait till the ninth season of the Scottish Football League even being a thing to win one outright themselves. So today we have Dumbarton who are currently in League Two against Rangers who are now the most successful football team in the world going by the amount of trophies they've won. They play each other today in the Scottish Cup in probably what is for me one of the most exciting fixtures I've ever been to. Well how did a relatively small club in today's day and age Dumbarton actually win the first two league titles in Scotland? Let me explain. Bizarre question. You are the guy that does the football YouTube Yeah, I am. I'm oh here my at the... god, are you here for the Rangers team? I am, yes. Wow. Who do you support then? Uh, well, obviously Dumbarton. Dumbarton fans, okay. Ailey and Nicole, who work at the Maritime Museum of Dumbarton, they bottled it. They didn't want to be on camera, but they told me some really, really interesting stuff about why this place is so important. And I've made many videos about this whole region in terms of like the football teams in the past. There's three incredibly big historic football clubs who we have a lot to thank for in this region. One is Dumbarton, who we'll be watching today. One is Vale of Leven, who are still kind of around. They're a Phoenix club, but they've won three Scottish Cups and they play in the West of Scotland leagues and Renton as well, who are no longer around. They were just telling me the significance of this place and how many people used to live here and work in this area. I don't think this area is even as populated now as what it was in the industrial era when they had all the shipbuilding industries here. But because of the amount of people here and how football was linked to a lot of like the local businesses in the late 1800s, if you look into it, if you maybe watch the English game on Netflix, it will show you how like the mills of Britain or the shipyards of Britain were like where people would work during the week and then the people of those companies, those factories would actually go and play football for the football teams and they, the supporters would be workers as well and it was all just inter intertwined and interlinked and it's very much the case here where there was three incredible football teams back in the late 1800s, early 1900s and they would have been funded, they would have been players, they would have been fans from all the shipbuilding industries that were in this area. Shout out to Dumbarton, they've tweeted that the pitch is good, the game is on, there was a pitch inspection at one, it's three minutes past and the game is on today. I was worried up until this point but yeah Dumbarton what a cool club they've always been great with me so do go and follow them on their socials these videos are never meant to be replacements for highlights I'm here to capture the atmosphere speak to the fans and hopefully one or two people from either club so yeah please please do go and support Dumbarton and give them a follow on Twitter Instagram Facebook wherever you can find them We met the last time I was here at Dumbarton. Yeah. That was against East Fife, wasn't East it? East Fife, Christmas Eve. Yeah, that's right. Last season. Yeah, a year ago. That's right. Hey. Um, but today, a little bit different. You're playing Rangers. Yeah, hey, we're playing them. What do you think going into this one today? It'll be hard, but see, our pitch is an absolute state, especially during the winter. And they'll be used to it, especially the foreign boys that are coming in for Rangers. Mm -hmm. Like, they won't be used to it. See, They've just had a winter breakout in Spain Dubai, or something, Dubai, isn't it? Dubai, wasn't uh, I think there's a few teams out in Dubai, but I'm sure they were in oh, Spain. See I if think. the wind comes on. Could be wrong, though. Like, see if the wind... No, the wind. The wind comes on yep. for the Clyde, it will be really bad. How are the Rangers fans feeling going into the sort of second half of the season? Well, I think we can feel positive. We've got a trophy. Um, although we did lose the old farm, I feel like we've got a good chance of getting them back at Ibrox. Um, during uh, Easter time, but you know, yep. it's 
can be positive. And you've only, you've never won a double or a treble since you got put down the divisions and you've worked your way back yeah. up. How much would it mean to, you've already won the League That'd Cup, win massive, the Scottish Cup as well? Massive, yeah. I uh, would love to do it, it'd be massive for the club. Um, obviously come back from the lower leagues to come up and do this would be brilliant. So it's post winter break, yeah. is there going to be any changes in the team do you reckon today for Rangers? Yeah. I think they've put out like, the B team, some younger players. Some younger players, which ones yeah. are you looking forward to seeing do you reckon? Probably Ross McCausland. Ross McCausland, yeah. I'm Jordan. I'm Michael. You're the commentators for Dumbarton yep, yep. today. And you're from Dumbarton, is that right? I am from Dumbarton. So am I. And do you support a bigger club as well as Dumbarton uh, as well? I said that to you off air, I also. I've had a season ticket at Ibrox for about 15 years. So, so split allegiances today. I know, but the most unbiased commentary you'll hear today. <laughs> Dumbarton all my life, so I'm Dumbarton. So you're just Dumbarton through and through. And who are we looking out for today? Any players that, that could cause Rangers Finlay a problem? Finlay Gray. Finlay Gray, I agree with that. Okay. Max Shields has been really good as well. Nice. Uh, Carlo Pignatello. So I think, I think the players are good, I. And so where can Dumbarton fans find your commentary usually on match days then? So on the live stream, if you go on the uh, Dumbarton Media website, you can just download it and uh, listen to us. Ideal, perfect. And uh, the snippets will go on the Twitter usually as well after the game, so yep. any goals you see on Twitter is usually a voice behind it. Perfect. Oh, it's a wee bit squelchy underfoot right now. And yeah, all the Premiership teams have just come back from their winter break. So I'm sure Rangers were in Spain. Uh, Hibs have been in Dubai, Aberdeen were out in America. Um, but we're in Dumbarton in January now. So it's going to be a little bit different for them. Um, but this is one of the most amazing things about these two clubs. Of all the stuff I've told you, this is the vlog that keeps on giving. Of all the stuff I've told you, just get a load of this, right? So these are the only two teams in Scotland. Pretty sure this is right. Comment section will let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm 99%. These are the only two teams that have won all top four divisions in Scotland. Obviously, Rangers have done it sort of the opposite way of Dumbarton. Dumbarton won the first few and then have won the other ones sort of in later years, whereas Rangers had won all their top tier ones and then they had the whole 2011 debacle went down and they've won them all since sort of coming back up. Ryan, post winter break, are you yes. expecting to see any changes in the Rangers team today? Fabio Silva starting and... That'd be exciting. Any youngsters you're looking forward to seeing? I'd Personally, I don't think they're nice. If you can count that, I think Yilmaz. Yilmaz, yeah, but, but they're, they're first team starters now. Yeah, probably, you know, but Julian I, I Kings, your yeah, McCausland's, do you think they'll start today? McCausland, I think, will start. Yeah. But I think from the B team, that'll be it. We've got Dumbarton fans, yeah? How's the season going in League Two? Good. All good, could be a little bit better. Yeah. But cup action today, playing a team like Rangers, are you excited to see them? Yeah. Do any of you support Rangers as well as Dumbarton or no, just Dumbarton? Yeah. Do you have bigger teams that you support? Celtic. So it means even more for you, you're Liverpool and yourself. Celtic as well, so you lads really want to win today. Do you think this game's more special because of the history of the two clubs, the joint league title, the fact they're the only clubs who have won all four top divisions? The first ever game here was a friendly against Rangers, I think, as well. Like, do you think it's more special because of the history between the two? I think there's a lot of rich history between the two clubs. Like, I've obviously volunteered at a club as well and been in the ground, and there's a lot of commemorations for fixtures between Dumbarton and Rangers. So I think it is a very special fixture, and that's why there's so much excitement for the fact it's Rangers specifically. Yep. And the place is buzzing, and it allows everyone to forget about a poor form in the league. You got a GoPro. Who are you filming for? Dumbarton. Oh, you're filming for Dumbarton. So you're Dumbarton's vlogger. He's the main man. Do you think Dumbarton can get anything from the game? Yeah. What's the score going to be? Um, 3-1. Mate, enjoy. Yeah, later, mate. Thank you.
Callum, bro. Callum, the game's just kicked off. Yeah. It's a bit different, isn't it, playing Dumbarton today than what uh, you used to, but... It's, it's mental, man. Like, uh, it's some atmosphere right next to Union Bells. Fucking right in, yeah. man! Yeah. Dumbarton. This is. Uh, he's having a bit of a shocker so far, Dessus. You've got a feel for him. Lundstrom. Lundstrom. Yeah, yeah. Lonnie, I got it, I got it, yeah. Outside the stadium pyro today, look, as you can see. Yeah! Is that Dessers? Oh, I think Dessers has actually scored. Dessers! Just had half time, the second half has begun, and the first half. Let's talk about the football because um, the atmosphere and the occasion's really, really good. But the football, Don Barton have actually done it right. They had one or two chances in the first half, but now it's 2 0 to Rangers. You struggle to see how they can get back into it. Here we're next to the commentary guys who we spoke to earlier. Obviously, do remember to go and check out all the Don Barton content on their YouTube channel and on their media pages and stuff. Um, but yeah, look, it's absolutely rammed in it. And um, my seat was supposed to be in the press box up there, but there's just no access to it. There's so many Rangers fans just everywhere and Dumbarton fans are all the way up there um, but yeah I'm gonna stand up here for the second half hoping for some good action but absolutely love the Scottish Cup Fergus what have you thought of the game so far? Uh, I think Dumbarton could score one uh, maybe one goal it'd be good to see Dumbarton score wouldn't it what is the final score gonna be though? Uh, maybe like 3-1 so Jack who are you supporting today? You're a Dumbarton fan. How do you think they've got on so far? Um, all right. Uh, Rangers are all over them. They've done well, I think, Dumbarton. They've had one or two chances. Um, what's the final score going to be? Five final Rangers. <laughs> Here are some of the scores from today. Oh. Now here we go, look, let's have a look at some of the scores. Look, Hearts needed a last minute winner to beat League Two Spartans in the Edinburgh Derby there. Airdrie beating St Johnston. Oh, Body Rig beat Falkirk as well, 90th minute. Come on the rig. Um, what other shots have we had? St Mirren, that's pretty standard as well. Motherwell, Thistle beating County, that's a big one. It's a big shot, Dave. Help him. Oh. There's your box player. Yeah. Oh. Don Barton have been unlucky not to have their moment today. That's once or twice now where they've come very close. Oh, Rangers have a penalty.
deserve a goal, Dumbarton. They have been excellent today. He's going to get it now. I believe you started at Rangers, right? Yep. You were there as a young player and you scored against them today. Uh -huh. um, how does that make you feel? Uh, it was good, obviously, having come through there. It was good to get a goal um, against my old team. I know I didn't really break through into the first team, yep. but I was, I was there for a number of years in the academy. Who were you um, playing with at that stage in the academy then? Um, so, Rob, Robbie McCrory, um, his brother Ross. Um, Ross McCausland, that was playing today. Um, so there was, there was a good few that I, I, um, I had came through with. And obviously a League Two team but playing against Rangers, what are the differences you see playing against them compared to yeah, the Stennies and your Stranraels? They're just so sharp like, off the mark in that, they're so much more powerful and um, the decision making and stuff so much better. Yep. Um, the touches, some of them are unbelievable but um, you, we knew that before the game, <coughs> they're obviously world class players yep. so um, it was always going to be a tough game. We were just hoping to to give them a wee cup shot but it just wasn't to me today so yeah you had your chances though but I think Dumbarton did play really well yeah. and actually matched Rangers in a lot of yeah there was, there was the gaffer said that to us before the game that you, you always get your chances in these games and it's just whether you take them or not mm -hmm. but just happened to be that your chance was so late on although we had a couple in the first half it just yeah. But it wasn't happening, it was just a wee bit of luck, Robbie. It ends up hitting his face, so yeah, yeah, um, smacked him in the face. And yeah, it looked like a great save, but it just smashed him. I know, it just hit his face, but yeah. it's just one of the things, it's just your luck. Isn't it? And how was it playing in the atmosphere today? Because you had the fireworks coming in, the pyro from outside, the Rangers fans, the Dumbarton fans, yeah. it was a full house. Aye, it was good. Um, obviously, when we were walking out, you see all the, the flares and the fireworks, mm -hmm. so it was obviously something a bit different. You don't really, that, that doesn't happen, yeah, you, every yeah. week, so. you don't get that against Bonnie Rig? No, you don't. What did you think of the game then, mate? It was decent, decent, mate. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, you're right. How's it had going? Had ups and downs in that, but obviously, you get a goal, it's good. They uh, deserved a goal, didn't they? They definitely deserved it, definitely deserved it. Uh, obviously, 2 0 down kills the momentum and stuff, but yeah. um, you just have to get put up with it, these sort of things. You're coming up against the Giants. Like, Are you ready? Day, nobody's, nobody's really expecting too much of it as well. Yeah, and they played such a strong team as well. There was no youngsters yeah, at like, uh, McCausland, but he's been a first team player for a while. He kind of came with an expectation of under Philippe, they, they don't want to mess up, especially they want to go for the double, they want yep. to do that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's strong out there, they, they definitely showed a lot more standard than, yep. than what we have. Hi, so it's but you crack on in the league now, right? That's it, exactly. I'll let you get your pictures of the players, mate. No worries. Absolutely, of course you can. No worries at all. Say hello to him for me. Yeah? What was his name? Ewan McCallum. Ewan McCallum. Shout out. And I'm back home after a really interesting cup tie. Yeah, all the history with the clubs, like I've touched on a few times in this video, just absolutely amazing to see them play each other in 2024 in modern times, given what both clubs have been through together down the years, the amount of times they played each other on huge occasions, none more so than when they joined the league back in the 1890s. Fast forward 100 and 40, 130 years or whatever and they play each other in the Scottish Cup at very different ends of the SPFL. Um, the atmosphere today, absolutely brilliant in there. Um, I've seen Rangers play at a few lower league grounds now um, but Dumbarton's a weird one because you only have the one stand and um, there's not much 
like space to move around the ground if you're a fan. Unlike at Annan when I saw Rangers play, you can really like go around in a lot of different areas. So it's a different experience from that, but just really fun just to like be close to the squad in such a small ground. I've been to Dumbarton many times for many games with maybe a few hundred people there, but to see it packed out and sold out, amazing, great news for Dumbarton. I'm sure they'll have done well out of it and obviously it being on TV and getting to this round of the cup as well. So really happy for them. I hope they can crack on in the league and the fans from the outside as well. I take it that was some of the Union Bears out there um, throwing uh, firing up the fireworks and the pyro and all that um, I thought it made the atmosphere just amazing just seeing that coming in um, just firing up into the skies the players were coming out and as the goals were being scored and stuff so um, yeah just interesting seeing these two like pitted against each other um, I know I've mentioned one or two videos in this video uh, the valley that created football was just like unreal that is such a fascinating video where I go into depth about like some of the clubs I mentioned right at the start of this vlog. Um, yeah, so please do check that out. That'll be on screen right now. And I'll put the Annan v Rangers video on as well um, if you want to see me watching Rangers down at Gala Bank. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.